Hi everyone, hi, welcome back, super happy you're here. This summer is all about experimentation. I created this painting in the last two videos, maybe you saw it. I was experimenting with the circular bubbly background and I used a white surface first and created colorful uh, circles. And then later on <laughs> I used some white washes to make it a little bit more um, contrasting together with the flowers. But this time I want to experiment again with it, but then using a colorful background and scraping away the color. So I create as well circular shapes here. That's my vision for the background, so let's get started. All right, so I have a couple of huge brushes, they're by Likitex. And if you want to know what art supplies I use, check out my description box under this video because I have an art supply list where I explain all the tools that I use for those botanical flower paintings. Okay, what I want to do is I want to wet this canvas, use a phthalo green, Prussian blue, paint spray and a Jenkins green on top of it. It's a color combination I love a lot and I'm using fluid acrylics by Golden. But you can use regular acrylics, of course, as well. Okay, dropping some water. Let's wet this canvas. And this canvas is a 32 by 32 inch. That's 80 by 80 centimeters. And that's a size I really, really love, especially for those botanicals. You don't want to go too small. And also this canvas size fits perfectly on the table, so it's so easy to work with. Okay, so let's drop randomly some colors here. It's all about experimentation. If it doesn't work out, that's fine. Then I know it's not working out. And as well with this painting, the first part, uh, what I did, I liked it, but I saw a lot more potential. And that's really what experimentation is all about. It's seeing the potential and improving that. You see how it bleeds because of the wet background. Okay, it should be enough. This is a beautiful blend. I like this. So the idea is, <clears throat> because it's still wet, I can now with a um, dry brush, probably scrape a little bit of the color off so it becomes lighter. Let's see. No. <laughs> no, it's not doing that. It's not. I really thought that would work to scrape it off. <laughs> That's funny. I I really knew this would would work. So I, I probably don't I probably need another tool to, to scrape it off a bit more. Okay so now what I will do is otherwise I will just use colors again on my brush and then make the circular shapes. And then it come becomes darker again. And I really wanted to scrape this. Maybe if I wet my brush, let's just wet the brush and then do that again. Let's see if it will scrape a bit more and make it a bit more transparent. Oh yeah. All right, so that's working. Well, not really how I envisioned it. I don't think that's nice. So what if I use white on my brush? Let's do that. Let's go here. Well, this is starting to look nice now. Mm. 
Now let's just continue a little bit. It's still wet enough that I can, you know, brush everything together. Let's create a couple more circles here. Wet the brush again because that was working. It's really hard <laughs> to do it. Let's use another size brush. So this is a 15 centimeter, how much I said? Six inches? You know, what I can do, of course, is uh, let this dry after I created some circles and then go over it again with some white. That would be definitely a good option. Okay, well, I think I like it for the background. I will rinse out my brushes, let this dry a little bit, and I'll be back. I let this dry for roughly 15 minutes. It's not fully dry, but it's close to dry. And like I said, I want to reverse what I did in this experiment. And here I used white washes around the edges to make it all softer. So what I want to do now is create darker washes, also in circular shapes, around the edges here. So the center is a lot softer and there is a lot more contrast. And then let's see what I want to create on top of that. Maybe a field of flowers, maybe some botanics, you know, just leaves without any flowers or just nothing. I don't know yet. So let's start creating some circles, colored circles on the edges. I do want my brush a little bit wet. And I'm using the same colors as I did for the background because I do want to only create some contrast with the dark and light, so no contrast really in the colors. Oh! Well, <laughs> I was dropping quite some water on there. Oh, that's terrible. Let's try to get the water off. Fix that. <laughs> Fix that. You know what? I can create some darker ones over here and then maybe some lighter ones there. Okay, so now I do think the contrast and the composition of those circles is amazing. This is beautiful. Yeah, let's just create a couple of botanical uh, leaves. Let's see, just let's let's just see how it looks, and maybe then I start to feel what it needs. But I have an idea. This is not gonna work out, but I do wanna try it.
really love this. I think the composition will be like this. I don't know you guys, I really love the shape of the plant. Really love that shape. But together with the background, it's not working yet. I'm saying yet, because I need this to happen. Okay, so the shape of the plant is done now. That's beautiful. But we need more contrast. We definitely need more contrast. It's all very bland. So a lot of compositions are working. Even this one. Oh, this is bringing me to very different paintings, this uh, whole experimentation process. I'm so scared to mess it up now, today. <laughs> you know what? I will... Let's add some gold to this. Let's just see how that looks. Okay. Will gold be the savior? So very light yeah. touches. I don't know yet, but it is giving contrast. I can tell you that. Well, it definitely is giving something, but if it's the one that I wanted, I don't know yet. I think here it's too too gold. I love it when it it's vegetated, really. So I might go even in with the dark colors again. Here it's beautiful. This is something I would have never guessed I would create today. I'm surprised. Not really, really happy, but I just need to think about this. I will probably come back to you for the end result of this. If you have some ideas how to continue this painting, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, I'm ending the video and the painting here for now. I do think I can work with texture on this painting and I'm very happy I used the gold here because it definitely brings out some contrast and more depth. I showed the painting to Wouter and he says this is one of his favorites of all time and especially this leaf. And I really enjoy this leaf as well. But for me there still is something missing and this is an experimentation piece. But I would love to hear what you think about this. It's different. I do have quite some ideas for more experimentation and I will act on them. I think for next week or there will be a part two of this painting or I will be using a split color base and a split color design and using some tape. Sounds interesting enough, doesn't it? And if you would love to learn how to create botanical paintings like this, make sure you check out my description for my botanical abstract painting course. I would love for you to join my course. And I want to thank you for joining me in my experimentation process. I'll see you next week.